Hello everyone and welcome to Jurassic Park Lego. My name is Hopward. Ooh. Pig. And this is my first ever Let's Play video, so I'm very excited. Let's bring it up. Big bird. I wonder what's inside. Could it be a dinosaur? Yeah, you eat that sausage like a mouse. The guy guiding it in ran away. Surely it was. Yeah, bitch. That's why he had a sausage. Raptor transfer. Very exciting. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I played a lot of the Lego games. So I mean, they're fun and easy to play, and uh, my mum. Sorry, she's, there's she's... no way to get up to the raptor pen until the new generator gets unpacked and built. She's an observer gamer. She doesn't like gaming herself, but she loves watching me play games. But she doesn't like anything sort of scary or bloody or actiony or the, the hacky slashy fighty games, as she calls them. But she loves Lego. She has such a daft sense of humor. She loves all the Lego stuff. So it's kind of a tradition for us to play these together, quote unquote. Uh, so, with that in mind, I thought this would be a good one to start with, you know? Uh, kind of bring you guys into the family a little bit. Because I'm nice like that. And also, it's a really good game for people who are starting out as, you know, gamers. It, it's a simplistic enough game in terms of what you have to do, it's pretty obvious. But it does kind of get you stretch your, flex your gamer muscles a little bit. And uh, stretch your imagination and, and try to sort of think like a gamer, you know, it, it teaches you to look out for little extra things that aren't obvious on the linear track of the game. Um, and it's especially yeah. interesting. If Good coffee. It almost makes up for the danger and humidity. We'll yeah. All the way for you. Better danishes. Oh, I wouldn't mind getting eaten as long as I had a donut to go with it. As long as I can eat first. The Tyrannosaurus can rip my face up, that's fine. Thank you! Why is he got a lisp? Well, I suppose lots of people have a lisp, why not have a lisp? Which is the same. So yes, um, is a l obviously a lot of the LEGO game is just beat the shit out of everything. You just casually... <laughs> yeah, you guys do all the work, I'm just gonna have an ice lily in the back. What do you guys... People have different names for ice lollies, I didn't know this. Some people say ice lolly, some people say ice pop, pop ice. Um... I'm an ice pop type person. I will say ice lolly. That was a lolly. Whereas the the ones that are just kind of a stick of ice. No, really? Don't lick the end of a taser because it'll fucking hurt. Oh no! Okay, Muldoon. You're violent. What are you? Oh come on. Okay, that's a tutorial thing. I was excited it. Until it gets fixed. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, we follow the footsteps. So yeah, there's a lot of different mechanics. Um, they all kind of transfer. Run for your fucking life, dude! Thought I heard something behind me, but I've got headphones on. <laughs> Bros. <laughs> I was gonna kill you and sacrifice you. Ah! Oh, I was gonna sacrifice you too! Thanks for life! So yeah, the Lego games are actually pretty big. Um, you've got the sort of the linear story like this, which is the, the levels based on chapters of the movies. Um, and then you have kind of an open world, home world aspect where you can access all the different levels, but you can also play in there. Uh, and then on top of that, you have the bonus level, which is like a, a mini open world where you kind of, like the buildings, you can stand on them and just destroy everything. That's basically the end of that level, which is super, super fun! So, what are you? Can I do? Can I do you? Oh, I'll come back for you later with... Generic white man with stubble. <laughs> we need him for, for that particular caper. Muldoon! Muldoon! You can shoot things. Ah, there's a target up there. So that's how electricity works. Okay. Oh, okay. So you can get the trap. And we push the cage. This isn't gonna go wrong at all. 
Yeah, Muldoon just having none of your shit. Stop being a pussy. <laughs> oh. The games are also decide designed to be completely impossible to complete 100% the first time around. Um, so, you know, even though I am being quite sort of thorough and, and smashing everything up that I can, you do have to come back like um, this thing over here. Let's go back over here. Yeah, that thing there. I can't open it because I don't have the right characters yet. Um, so you have to sort of play the game, unlock the characters, unlock different skills and things like that, and then come back and play again in free play where you can really access everything. Um, they have little secret areas and bonuses, and there's really quite a lot of hidden stuff in each level. Uh, there's a lot of collectibles to get, and if you want to go ahead and be a completionist about it, you're going to have to put a lot of hours into it. And it's not particularly because it's difficult, obviously. That's another reason why this is a great sort of starter game. It's piss easy. Um, but some of it is somewhat challenging. You know, sometimes I do get a little bit stuck. I'm pushing, I'm pushing! Come on, let's go! Uh, but if you die, you just respawn instantly. There's none of the sort of game over, reload from the last save thing. Which, you know, is fine. But so frustrating. I guess that'll be me. Let's go punch in the security code. Um... So there's none of the rage quitting. <laughs> okay, this should be incredibly difficult. Oh, you have to do it. You have to do it. Muldoon! Wow, that was painfully difficult. Raise the gates! Oh, there's a bit Lord of the Rings. So yeah, you respawn instantly. It doesn't matter how many times you die, you can still play the game. I need the other dude. And um, it helps, you know, obviously, if you're playing Jurassic Park Lego, odds are you've seen the Jurassic Park films. So if you do get stuck with the story, you can kind of just go, oh, well, this is the bit where What's-His-Face is doing this, and that kind of helps you work out what to do next. He's going to eat your face with his weird little middle finger claw thing. Hello! Yeah, yeah, tempt him with coffee. That's exactly what they want. Shooter! Muldoon, no! Shooter! <gasps> oh, he just got a sausage. I thought he was going to pull his arm off. <laughs> the Lego games are a little bit tame. Any alcohol is usually replaced by um, flagons of chicken legs. No, not Velociraptor. What is it? <laughs> Bike. Do you have a pa Maybe paleontological degree or not, woman? Something. I can't tell the difference between a dinosaur bone and a fucking bicycle. What's that about? Honestly, Ellie, what are you even doing here? Shame on you. So now we're playing as Dr. Oh, Alan Grant. Coins. What? Really? That's amazing. That's uh, what I was gonna say. How so? Well. Until now, we had no idea that dinosaurs had any kind of culture, let alone a system of currency. Ugh, remind me, what are your qualifications for being on this dig again? That's I a good fucking spade. question. Oh, <laughs> There's a raptor right under I the own a spade! Well, so do I. Does that mean I can... Bang on target. Oh, I'm gonna Just go hunt some raptors. That's fucking minutes. amazing, though. Can <laughs> you imagine that T-Rex chasing you down the street and you just turn around and be like, Ah, oh, excuse me. Can you afford to eat me? Really? Yeah, really? Yeah, I didn't think so. I Come back when you have more pound thing. coins. Basically yes. Mine. Fuck off, bro. Ah, the one day I forget to bring scissors. Oh, that is okay. So I might have to come back with another character for that to do the choppy chop with the sniz snizzes. The snizzes. Remember, Doctors Settler and Grant want us to be especially careful when digging up this fossil. Yeah, you say that, but I'm here, yeah, Dr. Sattler, Doctor, really? You can't tell the difference between a bike that was probably made in the last ten years and a fucking fossil. I'm highly skeptical of your doctor status, lady. Let's build some shit. Yeah, let's, let's build some kind of vehicle. Is that, a, is that a road sweeper? Okay, yeah, let's build a road sweeper out of a box, because that is how engines work. It's really that simple. Uh, if you wonder why I'm being so thorough about collecting all of these studs, it's uh, basically the money, well, you probably like this, it's a money book uh, for this game, the currency. Um, and the yellow bar at the top shows me how much 
I've collected out of the level. So each level has kind of a, a, a quota to fill, sort of 90,000 or whatever. Um, and you get a, a bonus if you fill it. Ooh, and the blue studs are worth a little bit more. It gets easier as you unlock things. Uh, you can get, like, bonuses so that... It really gets to the point where you just have to show up on the level and you instantly fill the yellow bar because you've got so many bonuses activated. It's ridiculous. You can make yourself invincible as well, which is one of the most pointless additions in history. If you die, you come back instantly in the same place. Nothing happens. So why bother with the... Oh, well, you, you lose a few studs, but... I don't give a shit. I do not care. Okay, let's go. Appear, see what's going to appear. No... <laughs> I'm so small. I can't. Oh, I have to do it with you. Okay. Uh, no, I just jumped clean up. <laughs> Fuck's sake, woman. You're useless. Don't like you. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Sort your shit, Ellie. Okay, so apparently you have to be a womanly woman to jump on the bones. I guess maybe Dr. Alan Grant's testicles are just too big to jump that high. Yeah, I would join you up there, but my ball bag is too big. It's too big. Yeah, that's a really weird noise. I am not, I'm not saying you wouldn't make a noise if you punched a solid block of wood, but it would be more like, Oh God, why? Yeah, I just destroyed an entire toilet with my fists. That's how I roll, motherfuckers. Yeah, let's punch a cactus. God, Ellie is hardcore. She's metal as shit. Screw all your guys with your uh, horror survivalist caves area. <laughs> this is where it's at. Can I build with this? Oh, it's up there, I see. Well, I fell off because I'm a silly person. Let's go back. It may look like I'm kind of uh, just whizzing through everything. I am trying to be as thorough as possible. Um, just so you can see what's going on, obviously. But the mechanics of the LEGO games, they are simple, yes, but they're also uh, transferable. So every level game, uh, every level game, every game has the same kind of mechanics, whether it's the Harry Potter ones, the Jurassic Park, or Lord of the Rings. Um, sorry, oh, itchy nose. Tie this robe. What is that, a brief knot? <laughs> right, chilly brief knot. Uh, so the build mechanics the same. You know, the only difference is, for example, in Harry Potter, you use a wand to magically build things instead of doing with your hands, uh, things like that. Um, and the collectibles tend to be slightly different depending on which universe you're playing in. But it's all basically the same. It's pretty easy to to work out what what's influenced by what work came from there. Come on. Boom. Yeah, that seems like a sensible idea. Oh, 65 million years old, I'll just yeah. pull it out with my bare hands. Oh, no, that will totally work. <gasps> Fucking sledgehammer, dude! Uh, no! My dinosaur! My dinosaur! Oh, God! Oh, these people are terrible archaeologists. They must be stopped. Yeah! Two out of four. Okay. Can you not build things? Is building too hard for your womanly jumping ways? Oh. Okay. So she can jump forever, inexplicably. She's just like an Olympic gymnast. But he can build things! Tractable claw, like a razor, on the middle toe. Ah, tractable. It's sharp. Would it be sharp? I don't think it would be sharp after 65 million years in the ground. We're ready to try again. Okay. Oh, this is so dated. Whoa, why are we over there? Oh, okay. Oh, oh! I think I can use the raptor claw as a as a snizzer. <laughs> let's see. Let's get it there. It's actually kind of weirdly difficult to jump on these things because um, the depth perception isn't great. I spend a lot of time on Lego games running towards the screen. Oh, purple one. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, got it. Oh, isn't the music so great? The purple ones are worth the most, which is why I was a bit panicky there. I give up. You give it a try. Okay. No, you had the claw, didn't you? Yes? Yeah! Uh, I'm clever. I'm good at games. Uh, some, you know, I know uh, how to game. Call that. No, it's delicate equipment. That's it. 
It was holding up a bunch of delicate equipment. Well, oh. fuck you. I'm Dr. Alan Grant. I was slice and dice. I smash up whatever I want to. I mean, if it's so delicate, why is it hanging off the edge of a cliff anyway, moron? Preserve Comsognathus thigh. Really? Uh, no. That's mine. I had chicken legs for lunch. Comsognathus. Oh, I always pronounced it Comsognathus. I was a proper dinosaur kid, and uh, they were my favorite compies. You know, the li the little the little chickeny ones that um, eat the girl's face off in the f in the second film. Yeah, <laughs> delightful. That was my favorite though. I was obsessed. I saw Jurassic Park when I was about three or four, I think. I was a little bit too young to see it when it first came out. Hey, um, I figured out what's wrong with it. It should have two wheels, not one, and handlebars. Oh, so off of it, Dave. No the two-wheeled axle needs a wheel at each end. Who knew? Amazing! Oh my God, these people are stupid. Where are they getting their degrees from? Why don't I have ten degrees? Jesus Christ! <laughs> Oh, you're depressing me, damn. I don't even need to worry about the coins now, because I've really got this survival thing, but... Oh, I need to find those things anyway, so that's fine. What was I saying? Yes, so I saw the first one when I was about... Well, I think I saw the second one first, actually. Uh, but I was about three or four, and I was just obsessed. I didn't find it scary at all. I thought it was... Well, some of it, yes. But, uh, you know, it didn't give me nightmares or anything. I mean, it, um... Yeah, amazing! Moron. I absolutely just loved it. I just fell in love with it instantly. You know, I think there's something so accessible about the wonder of dinosaurs because they're fucking amazing. You know, they're otherworldly and, and spectacular and bizarre. And... Yes, I know. Thank you. And all these amazing things. Just like aliens, but these things are fucking real. Like, okay, there probably are aliens somewhere, but we have no idea what they're really like. They're just, uh, you know, the imagination of the writer or whatever. But these things are actually in the ground because they were alive and real and actually on this earth. And that's, you know, this amazing, spectacular thing. And it was actually there, really. Now it looks like the picture in the instructions. And I think that's what makes Sinus so, so the bone oh, the image back. fabulous. This program is incredible. Two more years, and we won't have to dig anymore. It's just fantastic. That. Yeah, where's the fun in, in not having backbreaking physical labor at all? Old times. That was not what I was expecting when he said laser. <laughs> it's not a laser, it's a pogo stick. Okay then, excuse me, out of the way, excuse me, excuse me, thank you. I have no concept of personal space on this thing. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? This is a lot of fun. Oh, over here! I see, I see. Oh, dark cave. Oh, I probably can't go in there yet. We need a light. That thing looks like a six-foot turkey. Oh, oh, there's a guitar in there as well. <laughs> six-foot turkey. Well, that's basically. I think that's what it is, isn't it? Turkeys are descended from velociraptors. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's true. You lazy motherfucker! Get on with some work. Yeah, it serves you right. No. Oh dear. I think I might play the rest of the game on this vehicle. This is a lot of fun. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> oh, I need super jump lady. Okay, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. Oh, you can't build because you're useless. Yep. That failed. <laughs> what are you doing, Dr. Alan Grant? You're failing. Rain. Is that what I think it is? It is! That's a trampoline made out of bones, because that's how bones are supposed to work! And that's what you do with something you find in the ground after 65 million years. You fucking bounce on it, hit it with a sledgehammer, do whatever you like. Don't fucking preserve it, who cares about that? That's not why we're here. <laughs> Amazing. Let's see what else we got going on. Yeah, fuck you and your sandcastle. Oh, he needs a wee wee. Let's help him out, dude. Oh, maybe. Oh no, I just broke it. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was trying to help. What's gonna happen now? Oh, he he no longer needs to wee. Oh no, he's running away. Where's he going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Don't go into the desert. He's no. He's so ashamed. He's going to die. <laughs> My life is over if I can't. If I have to urinate in public, I must escape. <laughs> Tell my wife I love her. Oh, that's tragic, dude. I'm so sorry. I think I just killed a man. 
Anything? No? Ah. Oh, I can crawl in. I see. I see. Okay. So yeah, um, there's probably there probably really is a guitar somewhere in this level. As uh, as I said before, there are a lot of collectibles to get, and um, there's things that are called mini kits. You get ten every level, uh, which is that thing that I collected before when I jumped off the dinosaur. And I'm probably gonna get one. Yeah, that is a mini kit. Perfect timing to bring that up. But they also have um, no. Nope three collectibles that are just totally random things, like a hat, a pair of gloves, a pin... I don't know, I can't think of anything really random now. It's so weird how that happens. You think of something random! Uh! Um, yeah, it could be anything at all, so a guitar easily could be one of them. You think you are? It's John Hammond, you fool! John Hammond. <laughs> just pour the tea! Kind of biological preserve. Really spectacular, spent yeah. no expense. Our attractions will drive kids out of their minds. Ah, oh, true that. True that. If I could just, just wreck in the joint, bro. To sign off on the park. Is that fish I tea? Is that a field. thing? I know you can get fish ice cream, but fish tea? Also, not it's really right up your alley. keen on trying. Fish ice cream. Oh, what could it be? I think that's a great idea as well, like, sci-fi. Well, uh, the whole hmm. join the blood from the Ah, and Jack Goldblum, I can, uh, uh, I can only act in, uh, in one way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude, calm your shit, calm your shit. You just got cocked up by John Hammond. Especially for a mathematician. Chaotician, chaotician, actually. Yeah, that's what you get if you cock block me, you motherfucker. Ah. Uh, Cheeky Malcolm! Oh, and that's the product completed. So that's basically all you need to know for the LEGO games. I'm probably going to play through each level sort of the, to that degree of uh, thoroughness, just so you can get an idea of what to do and uh, hopefully complete as much as possible. And then I'll go through again after I've done the open world stuff, and uh, I won't make you watch me play the whole level again because that would be ridiculous. True survivor. Oh, and you unlock characters as you go as well. So a lot of characters to unlock, and you have to buy a lot of them as well. So it's good to buy, get as many studs as possible as soon as possible. Jeffrey Brown, I have no idea who you are. Muldoon! I have no idea where I got that from. I'm sure that's a quote from something, but... Dickside kid, yeah! He just hangs around Dickside's all day. His mother doesn't know where he's at. Ooh, vehicles, that's new. I haven't seen this in any of the other games. Uh, but if anything especially wonderful happens when I'm doing the replay, I will obviously like do like a highlight reel or something just so you can see all the extra tidbits, anything particularly difficult to find or uh, unusual. Because I do like to 100% complete these just because it's a Lego game, it's not that hard and it's fun. Uh, and same with the open world, I won't make you watch me do 300 fetch quests because that's essentially what it'll be. Uh, but anything particularly interesting or fun to play with. I will, I will share that with you guys. It's my gift for me to you. Is that? Yeah. I'm with it. Ah, it's just one of there. I see, I see, I see. Well, I'm gonna go to just park first because we're gonna do this shit in order. Oh, I can play. Oh, sorry, playable. We're <laughs> just standing there inspecting things. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Thank you, sir, and or madam. Okay, what's that? Oh, circle one button. Oh, it's a world map. So yeah, you can literally wander through this whole experience. Um, and as the game progresses, you probably unlock quests and things. I'm assuming from the other games I've played, anyway. Uh, zoom out. Can I zoom out further? Ah, okay, so that's item one, and presumably this is Isla Sauna, is it called, I think? Isla Nublar and Isla Sauna. Yep. Is there not a third island for Jurassic World, maybe? Oh no, Jurassic World's on this one, isn't it? Okay. So it's only is it only one film that takes place on easily? So on what the that is a shit thank you. No! <laughs> ah No! I don't want to look at Crotch! <laughs> Help me! No! No! Oh for fuck. Let's get out. Okay, let's try that again. Let's try the other guy. Okay, that's better. Move! 
Okay, I can see, but now I can't. Yep, yeah, uh, no, screw you, I'm gonna run. Yep, yeah, okay. Oh, ah. That was so seamless. Seamless! Oh, I'm good at games, fuck you. <laughs> oh, give me a break. Get them from storage, not from one of the control panels. Okay, that probably means I'm gonna get it from a control panel. Let's have a look. Oh, there's a dick thing over here, let's see. Yeah. I'm clever. So I'm not gonna do the collectible thing and be as thorough in this, uh, in the open world bit because everything respawns anyway. Uh, so there's no point. Okay, oh, no, you can't do it. I, yep. Thank you, John. What? That's what I pressed. Triangle, X, square. How rude. How dare you imply that I can't remember three things at once. I'm mightily unimpressed. Okay, let's see if I can do it. Let's go. I do like exploring whole worlds and things. Ooh. Let's Movie time. Straight, John. Your investors whom I represent are deeply concerned. 48 hours from now, if they aren't convinced, I'm not convinced. Yeah, you tell him, Gennaro. Isn't that John McClane's wife's name, Holly Gennaro? Maybe they're related. Hmm. She's over at the Nakatomi Tower, and he's over here getting his face bitten off. Maybe that's why she's so angry at him. The Cretaceous period. I mean, this thing is a hundred. Shush your face. Oh, tell me you watched this, and there wasn't a moment of genuine wonder looking at that animatronic. It's one of the most amazing cinematic experiences of my life. Oh, as back in ye olde days, we didn't have CG, so it was, it was really fucking there. Oh my god. You would, you would make, I would pay, I would give you my arm to go to Jurassic Park. I mean, I would probably do that anyway with a fucking T-Rex and everything. You said you've got a T-Rex? Uh-huh. got a T-Rex. You have a T-Rex. Dr. Grant. My ideas are to that. Welcome to Jurassic Park. <gasps> Thank you. Actually, I am tearing up a little bit. Oh, this is my childhood. This is such an amazing experience watching this film. I'll show you. Thank you. That was a little bit creepy there, Mr. Hammond. A little bit creepy, but we'll go with it. I'm seeing those huge animatronics. I mean, obviously, it was camera trickery and, you know, they didn't have the full beast walking around set and everything, but yes, they did. Shh, shh. Oh, amazing experience. You, just, you can't... I'm a fan of CG, you know, to help realise the writer's imagination and whatnot, to an extent. But you will never beat practical effects. Never. Can you jump? No, I'm too old. Okay, let's try you. I just, I'm just testing the theory that only women can jump. For some yeah, okay. <laughs> you have to be an elfin woman. <laughs> Your balls are just too heavy to reach this ledge. I'm sorry, I did not mean to... I'm sorry, I did not mean to murder you. I was gonna say I didn't mean to punch you, but I actually killed you. I'm dreadfully sorry. <laughs> Accidental murder. Ooh, can I get up there? Super jump. Super jump! Mm! Is there anything even up there? I don't think there is. Okay, right. Let's leave that alone, man. Can we get, do I need anything over here? What's this? Oh, I need raptor claw. Raptor claw! Thank you. Music is always great as well, is it? I think it might be John Williams who did the music for this. He did uh, first Harry two. First Harry. First two Harry Potter films music. Um, and he basically, if it's if it's good. Is probably John Williams. He did Star Wars as well, I believe. It's at least some of it. Uh, and I'm sure I'm, something's telling me in the back of my mind that uh, he was involved in in this. That just swell. Oh, it's amazing. That was the best thing about Jurassic World. I mean, it was it was okay, but just hearing that music again, it was like oh, it was like being five years old and filled with wonder all over again. Watching those kids riding their dinosaurs and stuff, I was so jealous! So jealous! 
Oh, and we've got the gates open, so we're gonna go go to the next part of the game. Uh, but I will leave that for the next episode, so I hope you had an interesting introduction to Jurassic Park LEGO, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye-bye!